I am filming this ng 2 a.m. in the morning. I already filmed this yesterday and I didn't like the output. So I'm redoing it. In 2015, this was me. And now, this is me. I think there are different achievements that I achieved. Na. And I really want to walk you through how I invested in myself because I feel like this will be helpful to a lot of people. And if I could just give you the tools on how you can do it and apply it to your own, maybe it will be helpful for you as well. So today we're going to be discussing how you can invest in yourself. Number one is you need to set goals. I know that for some people, hindi pa nila alam yung goals to nila and it's completely okay. Sometimes may mga tao talaga na kailangan nila mag trial and error bago nila malaman kung anong gusto nila or kung saan sila passionate about. But if you are someone who already knows what they want, then I would definitely challenge you to set your goals. You know, I actually use the app Notion. I place all of my goals there, the tasks I break down my long-term goals ko into short-term goals so that I can plan out how can I achieve my long-term goals. So if you want to achieve a certain thing, then you definitely have to plan for it. I actually read this book, The Psychology of Selling by Brian Tracy. I needed it for my business. This is a sales book. It says there that for every minute you spend on planning, you save seven minutes on execution. So kung nakapag-plano ka kung paano ma-achieve yung isang bagay, mas makakatipid ka ng oras sa pag-accomplish ng mga bagay na kailangan mong gawin to get there. So setting goals is definitely helpful for your becoming process. If you want to be an artist, if you want to be a content creator, a dancer, a makeup artist, whatever you want to be, you really need to set goals and you have to be clear with them. Number two is to have time for your creativity. I know that for most people, they usually think about creativity as something na magaling magsulat, magaling magdrawing, magaling sumayaw, magaling kumanta. Pero I recently watched The Mind Explained on Netflix and I love it. Maraming concepts about the mind that is actually talked about about here and meron pa kong isang napanood before that documentary is definitely about creativity itself it says there that creativity isn't necessarily just about art it's also about coming up with fresh ideas or adapting old ideas and innovating it into your own to come up with a new one so the more na marami kang kinukuha ang best practices from other people and then you try to innovate it again then you can be creative personally what helps me to stay creative is through listing down my creative ideas again i am using notion app lahat ng ideas ko nandito and i don't reject any idea for example i have an idea i really write them down walang pangit or magandang idea i really test them out equally bago ko i-reject yung idea you know no matter how much the idea looks like it doesn't make sense to you Keep it. I am a firm believer that sometimes you need to test out an idea before rejecting it. Kasi yung ibang tao, meron silang ideas, pero they don't take action on it. Kung hindi mo a-actionan yung idea mo, hindi mo siya makikita kung gana ba siya or hindi. So if you have an idea and you want to exercise your creativity, you really need to take action. That's how you can also invest in yourself. You have to believe in your own ideas. And of course, you have to believe in your own creativity. Number three is to build your confidence. This was me before. I swear, I had a hard time socializing with people. There was even one time. Now, I would go ever since I was like in high school. I think some teachers found me weird because I don't know. They they found me weird. But parang I really tried to socialize more and I tried to come out of my shell. Ngayon, I, I still am weird, but I can package myself better so that hindi naman nakakatakot or creepy type of thing or awkward type of thing yung pagiging weird ko. And I think that what really helped me para hindi maging awkward looking sa ibang tao is to build my confidence when I talk to people, when I present myself. When you start believing in yourself, it's going to be easier for other people to believe in you as well. The problem is, minsan kasi hinihintay natin na maniwala yung ibang tao sa atin bago tayo maniwala sa sarili natin. Or naghihintay tayo ng validation from another person bago natin i-validate yung sarili natin. The thing is, people and situations change. So, hindi mo makokontrol kung anong iniisip nila. Pwedeng one day they like you, pwedeng one day they don't like you. So, rather than 
basing your worth or what you're capable of on how other people perceive you, I would really rather suggest that you define who you are, you stick to it, and you really have to understand kung ano yung long-term goals mo. Para kung may mga taong hindi naniniwala sa'yo, you really stay focused on your goal because you know where you see yourself in 5-10 years and you really work hard to achieve it. I was, I was, dude, I, I kid you not, I was weird. The next one is you to read. Now, I know a lot of people are actually asking me for book recommendations and I hope that you're actually reading them and applying them instead of just looking smart. You know, it's better if you apply the things that we are reading and not just trying to present that you look smart. I think I read this from How to Win Friends and Influence People. Now, if you don't know how to apply a certain thing that you've read, then you don't really understand it. Kasi kung alam mo yung binabasa mo, ibig sabihin, dapat kaya mo rin siyang i-apply. Without proper application of what you've read or what you've learned, reflects na hindi mo alam yung binabasa mo. So, instead of just really reading a certain thing, I definitely recommend to you that you apply it. I don't really believe that knowledge is power. I believe that applied knowledge is power. I proved this to myself before I would read a lot, pero hindi ko naman i-apply. Tapos, Ang mahal ng self-help books, so kung hindi mo siya i-apply, salayang lang yung pera mo. So instead of just looking smart, instead of your badge of honor para sa sarili mo na marami ka nang nabasang libro, I would rather recommend to you na isa-isa muna yung basahin mo hanggang ma-master mo yung isang book then move on to the next. You really need to apply a certain book before you can actually move on to the next. Because reading is helpful. Isipin mo yung mga taong nagsusulat niyan. They've been in the industry for 5-10 years. And then when you get to read their book, Lahat ng natutunan nila, lahat ng tools na meron sila, lahat ng best practices nila, mababasa mo in one reading. So, rather than just focusing on reading a lot of books, you really need to apply them. You have to maximize the books that you're reading. Fifth, you need to work on your bucket list. Ano yung mga bagay na you really want to achieve? For me, I have like 300 things that I want to achieve before I turn 25. Meron akong ganun. Ang dami ko nang natick off. I'm not comfortable showing you yung mga goals ko. Like I said, what really is helpful for me is when I don't discuss it with other people. I actually had a video about it on TikTok. It talks about why you shouldn't be discussing it to other people. Now, I know that there are some contentions about this, but hear me out. The difference with this video from other video is that yung ibang video, parang sinasabi nila, psychology says. So parang gina-generalize nila, the whole study of psychology claims this. As compared to this video, I am showing a study. So in a study, there's always the margin of error. Of course, there's always the outlier. So it's more credible. For some people, it will work. For some people, it won't. But I also like this study. So Megan, then explanation what happens to our brain when we discuss our goals to somebody else. So if you haven't watched this video, come watch it. I'm gonna link it down below. Lastly, you need to find a mentor. Ngayon, naghahanap pa rin ako ng business mentor kasi I'm really trying to choose a mentor that's going to be helpful for my growth. I want someone who shares the same values. I also have a content creation mentor. Ate Yin was my first mentor in content creation. We talked back in 2021 and I think that really helped me in growing my platform. You can find a mentor in different ways. Minsan kapag sumasali ka ng competition, you can find a mentor there. Or you can hire a mentor yourself. But hiring a mentor yourself is quite pricey. So I would really recommend you na sumali ng mga competitions. Network with like-minded individuals. Treat yourself like a human sponge. I kid you not, kapag may nakikita kang mga tao, learn from them. And learning doesn't necessarily have to be people who are just positive. You know, when I was taking up consular and diplomatic affairs, what our professor said that really left a mark on me was that kailangan as a diplomat, hindi mo lang kinakausap yung mga taong nasa taas. Kailangan yung mga taong nasa baba din. Kapag alam mo yung both sides, you're more likely to balance them out. Alam mo yung mga bagay na hindi mo dapat gawin at alam mo yung mga bagay na dapat mong gawin. I think having that mentality definitely helps me as well. Because I I don't look like it, but I'm very observant. I like observing people, how they act, how they talk to people, if they have integrity, do their actions align with what they say. Rather than just looking at people who are good at what they do, you also have to look at people who are not good at what they do, who are not performing well, who are not investing in themselves. Ano yung mga maling ginagawa nila para maiwasan mo yun? That way, you can do the right things. 
things and avoid the wrong things. Going back and finding a mentor, kailangan mo talaga ng someone who's passionate about what they do, someone with results in what you want to do. So if you want to be a public speaker, then definitely kailangan yung mahanap pong mentor is someone na marami ng experiences in public speaking na talagang matuturuan ka. And of course, someone who's really empowered and hindi madamot kasi may ibang tao na may tendency sila na mag keep So look for someone who's really secured in themselves. So that's how you can invest in yourself. I swear na kapag nag-invest ko sa sarili mo, it has to be a combination of what you've learned as a person and of course, there's also the version of vicarious learning. You can learn from another person. Kapag gusto mo mag-invest sa sarili mo, kailangan matuto ka. Mayroon ka sariling insights and you also get to learn from other people. Para kung may mga mali silang nagawa, baka maiwasan mo nung maaga. If you like this type of content, please give me a like and comment down below. Kung meron naman kayong content suggestion, just drop them below as well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have other suggestions for me or if you have other requested content, I would love to help you with that. Just drop them below. I hope that this video was really helpful for you. And thank you so much for watching until the end. Bye!